And there he goes and the pitch is high and it pops out of the glove of Murphy. So Kelnick's going to have his six stolen base. See why Gear comes in, starts checking on Kelnick early on. Not sure what's going on here. Kelnick, Kelnick went back to first base. I, I think he may have. Did he think it was a foul ball? I think so. So Guerra stepped off. Guerra picked him off, but he was going from second to first. Kelnick in there. Bag taken. You don't see anybody calling time. Ball still live. Somebody, I think somebody in the A's dugout just got thrown out. I don't think it was Bob Melvin. Well, you can that looks can, like a foul ball. I was just gonna say you can very clearly see the foul ball. So maybe. Maybe Kelnick didn't know what he was doing, huh? <laughs> so, it, that, yeah, you're right. The replay clearly showed that it was a foul ball, which means Kelnick just goes back to first base. And well, but I can, don't think the foul ball was called. And you can see Bob right now trying to explain to Mr. Gibson, whoever ended up getting ran out of the dugout, is talking to Bob, and now. So now Bob gets tossed, and the problem here is Greg Gibson is wrong. He missed he missed a foul ball. Right. <laughs> so I always always find that quite ridiculous that an umpire missed a call and he's now thrown Ryan Christensen and Bob Melvin out. I, we believe it may be Christensen, but somebody else got thrown out. It might look ridiculous, yet in this situation, I doubt the umpire had even an inkling that the call was incorrect and ejectable conduct doesn't care if the call is right or not. Which kind of compounds the problem, because when a call is made, if players from both teams react as though it was a different call, the umpire still thinks the call is 100% correct even when the manager comes out, as umpires are often trained to do. The manager is going to get frustrated that the umpire isn't asking for help from the crew since both teams clearly have doubt. Why didn't the crew get together? Actually, I don't have an answer for that. I'm legitimately asking that question. What he's seeing unfold in front of him, he's going to act on. And it's non-reviewable. Gee, what a surprise. That comes back to bite us again. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And I think I just watching Bob right there. I think he told him. I think he said, "Get some help. You're wrong." I think he wanted him to get some help. Well, you can certainly understand Bob Melvin's perspective on this, of course. especially when we see the replay that we did. And as it stands, it will go down as a stolen base for Kelnick. 